What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to cold approach a girl at a coffee shop. So we're going to be breaking down some infield of me talking to a girl at Starbucks. Alright, so the backstory is that I was in Starbucks in line and there was a cute girl behind me who was wearing a Mercedes-Benz hat. So I used that as kind of my aim to start a conversation. I think I made a joke like, oh, are you sponsored by Mercedes-Benz or something like that? And that's what started the conversation. But my camera guy had no idea that I was actually trying to film infield, so it took him a few seconds to scramble. So the first few seconds of the convo are missing, and this is where it begins. What kind of car do you drive? Okay. I drive a, uh, I don't have a car. I, uh, I'm homeless. Yeah. Really? yeah, I'm just like a well-dressed, charming homeless person. I know. Dirty, right? So you don't always have to logically answer the girl's question. Quite often what I do is I fuck with them a little bit, right? And this actually builds attraction. So it shows like, oh, this guy doesn't give a shit. Like he has a good sense of humor. So I'll do a lot of trolling like that. I'll be like, oh, I'm homeless, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's obvious that I'm not. You're lying. Yeah, I am. I have a Mazda. Hi, can I get a... Uh... Now the tricky thing here is that the timing of it, this is what the problem is sometimes with coffee shops, is because I was in line and so even if I don't give a shit and I ignore this guy, the girl's gonna give a shit and she's gonna feel awkward because there's gonna be a lot of social pressure on her. So at this point I have no choice but to you know place the order and kind of end the conversation temporarily. Now after this, so there's gonna be a little break in the footage, but what happens is I go to the other side of the uh, aisle where I'm waiting for my drink. And I figured that after she's done paying for her drink, that she's gonna have to wait in the same area as me, so she's gonna have to come up next to where I'm waiting, and then I can start up the conversation again. Unfortunately, what happened was instead of making her wait, they just handed her the drink. I don't know if that has anything to do with her being a cute girl or just a random coincidence. So she was then at that point, she never went to my area. So I actually had to go to her where she was getting the straws. And again, the first few seconds are missing because my camera guy took a few seconds to start filming. But I think my reopener was something like, hey, you again, or something like that. Or like, hey, what's up, Mercedes girl? And this is where the conversation kicks oh. off again. Are you afraid of dogs? Yeah. Oh. Like, one just like scratched me. Just, oh like, shit. Yeah, I was just like, I'm freaking out. Oh, what I'm commenting on is the fact that when I got closer, she kind of pulled away, which actually explains how earlier her body language was a little closed off. So she's afraid of dogs. Oh, you're like scared of me for a second. No, not you. I just like get scared of dogs. Oh. This one seems calm. Yeah, he's super friendly. He's like the oh, friendliest so dogs nice. ever. Do you go to Miami? Do I what? Do you go to you Miami? No. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm like 31. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh. Are you, are you, go, do you go to University of Miami? I went there for grad school, but oh. um, now I'm working, so cool. I just moved to Brooklyn. What do you do? Um, real estate. Oh. Um, at a company, I do PR and like events for like real estate, um, for like certain clients, so it's okay. nice, like luxury buildings. And you drive a luxury car. Look yeah. At, it fits the brand. I know. All right. Yeah, definitely. What do you do? I uh, have my own business. What do you, what is it? We do, uh, well, we do advice for men. We help men. I bet, oh, let me hang on. I'll help you out. I'll get between you two. There we go. Nothing to fear. We do advice for men, so we help them. Uh, and then Indian P comes in here and takes Rhaegar. Another thing important to point out. Fine, you can have them. You guys see it here. Um, let me just pause it. We help men have better. So, yeah, so what I typically do is when I'm talking to a girl for more than like 20 or 30 seconds is I position myself to make it seem like she's the one standing over me. So this is my way of kind of reversing the dynamic of the fact that I had to approach her. So I basically try to find a place where I can lean back or sit down or something like that. It's a nice little body language trick. This way I'm very relaxed and she's the one that's kind of standing over me. So here I do by leaning up against the little thing. Her sex and dating lives. Do you enjoy it? Like, when did you develop it? It's quite fun. I've been doing it for four years. That's awesome. Did you grow up around here? I did not. I grew up in Russia. Really? So yeah. when did you move here? When I was seven. I moved to New Jersey. Now, another important thing to point out, even though you can tell she's a little bit anxious with her voice, I think she probably just has some elements of social anxiety. She's asking a lot of questions, which is actually a very good sign, because a girl who doesn't give a shit, who's not interested, she's not gonna ask you questions. She's just gonna be polite and she wants the conversation to end as fast as possible. But a chick who's nervous but is into you, she's gonna ask a lot of questions because that's her way of kind of getting over her anxiety but still keeping the conversation going. See, and then oh, move to- I'm, I live in New Jersey, I'm from there. Yeah, what part? Um, Bergen County. Yeah, me too. Wait, really? Yeah, I, I went to uh, high school. No uh, way, I lived in- Where? I Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We do, yeah. I mean, we're like 20 minutes apart. Yeah. Yeah, we are. That's Bergen crazy. County girl. Yeah. I, I didn't like, I don't go there. To, I mean, I actually, I do because my parents still live there. I was just there. But um, I, I usually like, like to hang out in New York and stuff in the city. Small world. Yeah. So I'm assuming you're Italian? Yeah. 
what about you? So that was pretty easy for me to guess uh, because you know I grew up in New Jersey, so I know that all the olive skin girls in Jersey are typically Italian. So again, if you're a guy who's like kind of you know well traveled and you're like had a little life experience, you can kind of you know usually use these associations to figure things out and make it seem like you know you're just a good guesser, right? I'm Russian. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Another thing to point out is that she basically just asked me the same question. So yeah, this goes back to her being a little nervous, right? She's like, she doesn't remember what she says. When someone's nervous, they typically repeat themselves and this is what's happening here. But it's not a bad thing per se. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the yeah. dog is gone. You're good. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> yeah. Cool, so you just moved to Brickell? Yeah, where do you live? I live like... Oh, nice. Yeah, I almost moved there. Where do you do? Where uh, do you okay. We, we, yeah, we looked at that place. So yeah, you can also see that this conversation is very matter of factly. Like you don't have to do anything crazy. Now, if it's nighttime, I definitely like to amp it up a little bit. It'll be more, you know, more intense, more sexual, blah, blah, blah. But during the daytime, especially when you have a more shy, reserved girl who's a little socially anxious, like the last thing you wanna do is be intense, right? So a bit of get to know you talk is totally fine. And much more important than what is being said is the subcommunication. So take a look at my body language. I'm relaxed. I'm at ease, but I'm also confident. My, I'm open up, I'm taking up space, I'm not just huddling in. Take a look at my tonality, right? Like, I'm not wavering. It's very calm, confident, you know, strong, dominant, right? So those are the things you wanna pay attention to, not the actual little words. Those matter a lot less than what exactly how you say it. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, you have roommates too? I have one. Nice. Yeah. You ask all the good questions. What oh. car I drive, whether I have roommates. Yeah. You're very inquisitive, I like it. So here I'm just fucking with her a little bit again. It's okay to fuck with the girl a little bit. So, you know, we did some basic get to know you talk. Now I'm actually gonna, you know, spice things up a little bit. So this is me doing a little, a little commentary, like playfully teasing her a little bit. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's exchange numbers and hang out sometime. I would love to. Do you have an Instagram? No? I do. Oh, okay. Let me get your number and your Instagram. So this is going for the clothes, uh, you know, this is typically how I do it. I'll say like, we should grab a drink sometime or like exchange numbers and hang out sometime, easy peasy. Uh, and the good thing is that she says, I'd love to right away. There's no hesitation. That's a very good sign. If the girl hesitates, she's like, um, I guess we could. That means it's more likely to be a flaky number. Another important thing to point out is she asks, she's like, oh, do you have an Instagram, right? So what I want to do in that situation is very simple. What I say is like, yeah, I have Instagram. Let's get, let me get your number and your Instagram, right? You want to focus on getting both. You don't want to just get her Instagram because then you're just going to get lost in her sea of DMs. That's my coffee fix for the day. Oh, that's amazing. I love the music in the background. There you go, I'll follow you back. All right, all right. I'll uh, stalk your pictures later. Sounds good. Cool, nice to meet you. It was so nice I'm to meet you. I should, I should just like save you my phone as Mercedes girl. Uh, yeah, my yeah, 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 yeah. It was so good you can save me as the uh, guy without car. Yeah, the guy with the dog. The guy with the dog, cool. All Great, right, I'll text you later. Fun. Now, in most situations, I would have given the girl a hug or sometimes even a kiss, right? But because this chick was so socially anxious, like, I calibrated to that, you know, I could have easily done it anyway, but I didn't want to, like, you know, yeah, you want to be calibrated to the situation, to the girl's energy, so because she was a little nervous, I played a little bit more cool, just got the number, and I'm just going to do the rest over text. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable. Show us some of that love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification. Let us know in the comments what your favorite spot is to meet girls during the daytime. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.